I'm drinking some land shark today. Mmm. Island style lager. Not bad. So, my state, the state of Tennessee, had just attempted to pass a law to make the Bible the official book of Tennessee. Pretty retarded. Tennessee isn't the only state that's trying to do it. Mississippi did, Louisiana. Anyways, those states didn't go through. Well, Tennessee didn't go through either. It didn't make it through the House. Then it got voted down the Senate. But, um, you know, the, the Christian conservative Protestant folk that live around here, they need to think a little bit, use their head. You know, there's a lot of folks that live in Tennessee that don't see the Protestant Christian Bible to be everything they do. I mean, for instance, if you're uh, a, some Jewish folk and you live here in Tennessee, you know, you, you don't acknowledge the New Testament. It's just not your book. Uh, it's not your thing. Mormons, obviously, that you know, they have their own thing. Even the Catholics, man, the Catholics, that hey, they consider themselves to be Christians, and they don't use the Christian Protestant Bible. They have a different Bible. It has more books in it. You know, there's just like this big whole thing about oh, we're taking God out of the, out of our country. We need to do this, that, and the other. And it's like, man, there are other people that live in this state. That don't see things the way you do. And they're Americans. They're Tennesseans. It's just, it's ignorant and it's ridiculous. But you know what's even more ridiculous? Is that anybody would want to make that book a state book anyways. And I've got some examples why. Just off the top of my head. Noah and the Flood, man. You know, God drowns men, women, children unborn babies, kittens, and puppies and wipes them all out except for one family in a boat. Yeah. That's not a nice thing. It's a horrible thing. And then in Matthew 24, 37 through 42, Mr. Gentle Jesus approves of that particular genocide and plans to repeat it when he returns. Yeah. What? The official state book of Tennessee. That's that's some great reading right there. In Second Chronicles thirteen fifteen through eighteen, God helps the men of Ju Judah, Judah, kill five hundred thousand of their fellow Israelites. How nice! And we know the story of uh, the Exodus, where God, the baby killer, slaughters all the Egyptian firstborn children and cattle. Because Pharaoh's being stubborn. What? What, what? what? What was that? In the book of Numbers, the Israelites complain to God and say, Man, you're killing too many of us. So God says, Oh, yeah? So he sends a plague that kills 14,000 more. Uh, this God sounds like a mean, sadistic, monstrous fucking dick. But hey, yeah. Most of that was all the Old Testament, except for the reference to Jesus saying that when he returns, you know, he'll do the same thing. And so, in the book of Revelations, which is in the New Testament, it talks about the end times. It says, uh, according to Revelations 9 7 through 19, God's got more evil coming. He's going to make horse like locusts with human heads and scorpion tails who torture people for five months. Then some angels will kill a third of the earth's population. Which I guess if it came today would be about two point something billion people. Yeah. The Bible. The official book of the state of Tennessee not. It shouldn't be the official book of anything for anybody. Barf. What do you think?